Yo guys, welcome to RenderAM, my name is Vieco and today we're gonna cover 5 features that you either knew your whole life or you discovered them just now after 900 years of using 3ds Max. So let's dive deeper into the known, unknown depths of 3ds Max. So for our little feature list, I'm gonna be using this beautiful scene made by Evermotion and this is all ready for Corona Render. So if you go to their website, go to shop, click Arc Interiors, click on all renders here and you can filter by rendering engine. In my case, that's Corona. So I chose this bundle and the scene that I'm using is this one here. Our first feature is gonna be UV tweak. Now, I've created this little beautiful teapot here and I've added a checker texture on it. If you have any issues with the UVs where you just need to tweak them a little bit, there is actually a tweak brush in Max that you can use. So make sure that your object is in editable poly mode, head to the modeling section of the ribbon and here you have this button, it says tweak. Once you click it, you get this brush as you can see and now look what happens. If I just go close and start moving things, I'm not deforming an object, I'm literally just modifying the UV data. So look, click here, click here, and you can fix all your little UV imperfections that you have in your objects. Instead of going into the whole unwrap and just try to fixing it there, you have an actual brush for this. This is a super useful feature. Our next feature is gonna be a material editor feature. So every time when I wanna create a multi-sub object, I would get this large node with 10 sub materials. And in practice, I usually use two or three whenever I'm using multi-sub object. So what I usually do, I double click. And every time when I fill one or two of them, I would always go to my set number and here I would say for example three well you can customize this forever so head to the options preferences and here you have multi sub material options number of sub materials default is 10 I like to set this to three press ok and now when you want to create your multi sub object it's always going to be created with three materials our next feature is going to be corona render feather region now did you know when you create a region that if you hold control you're gonna get this. Look, I'm just holding the control. I clicked on the border, moved it up and you get this. What is this area? This is a feather. So, you know, a lot of times when you would create like a region effect and you would get like hard edges, you know, for example, you would change the color of something and just color spill would be different and you would get a harder red. So we'd have to mask it in Photoshop, etc. Well, you can use feather now. And it will just, as you can see here, it kind of slowly renders elements near the edge, but all the ones close to the region border are rendered faster. Well, this is practically it. Look at this. You can literally feel that gradiental momentum when it comes to rendering out your region. Look at this. Like these parts are rendering a bit slower. These are rendering faster and you can actually make nice blendings with this. Our next feature is a feature that's been in Max since I don't know when and it's called preserve UVs. So whenever I want to select the vertices on the bottom and I want to just make it shorter, well, my UVs are going to start to squeeze. But check this out. If you go here in your editable folder, you have preserve UVs button. Click it and look at this. Now when you're moving your vertices, nothing is being stretched. It generally respects the direction of the texture and it's not going to allow it to be stretched, etc. So you don't have to redo your UV UVW mappings or your unwraps. This is a super, super useful feature. Our last feature is going to be filter objects by size. How many times you had a scenario, you have a large scene, tons of props, some objects are killing your scene, but you don't know which ones, so you're basically guessing. Well, now you can see that. Click age go into select from scene here go to customize configure columns scroll down where it says faces double click on that and from this point you got this column press ctrl a to select everything in your scene and you can clearly see the polygon sizes of everything now when you click on faces you can choose from ascending or descending order to see which object is the heaviest and then you can deal with that object and that's it for today guys i hope you learned something new if not you're gonna learn something new tomorrow Evermotion, thank you for sponsoring this video and see you all very, very soon. Bye.